All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. We are going to do a very quick video today going over panning for stereo in your monitors. I've had several comments uh, asking for a short video over this, so, real quick, we're going to go over this today. All right, we're going to solo our first set of buses, one and two. Now, if you don't already have it set up for stereo, first thing you would need to do is select bus one, press the home button. If they are not linked, you're gonna press the encoder on the far left here to link bus one and two. Yes to confirm. Now bus one and two are linked, right? So now we can place instruments in the stereo field left to right. So this click, for instance, it's on channel 16. We're gonna select channel 16. Up here in our bus send portion of the console, we are gonna see this first encoder is showing us the volume that the click track is going to bus one and two and its pan position. The third encoder is the volume going to bus three and four and the click's pan position for bus three and four. So, if our performer on bus one and two would like the click panned all the way to one side because they prefer it that way. We can simply select the click, make sure we're on the right bus for one and two and pan it over. Now, if we wanted the keyboard to go all the way over to the right and the electric guitar, which is already all the way over to the left, but the keyboard, we can send it to the left. And maybe we want the playback tracks all the way over on the right. So that's just one bus. If we go and listen to bus three and four, we can hear that the click is panned up the center and we can see that it's panned up the center by clicking channel 16, which is our click, and looking at the encoders for three and four. Again, each set of encoders becomes volume and pan. So if we wanted to affect bus five and six, we could see that our click is being sent to bus five and six and it is panned up the center in bus five and six. We can see it's not being sent to seven and eight and has no pan position because it's not being sent to seven and eight. If we wanted to send it to seven and eight, we could simply grab this encoder here Bring up, see here's a perfect example, seven and eight are not linked. So we'll click on seven, click link, and now they are linked together. So we've got bus seven, we've got our click. It's going up the center, but let's make it go to the left, right? Conversely, if you wanted to use the fader flip, you can see just the click is being sent, but we can, you know, bring in our drums right bring in some guitar some keyboard some sax some bass right our playback tracks but say we wanted this keyboard to only be on the right hand side we would just click on the keyboard channel make sure we're on buses five through eight and locate the pan knob for buses seven and eight. If we wanted to change the click, we click on the click, come over here, simply pan it to the right. I hope that was helpful guys. Just wanted a nice, clean, quick video today. I've been real busy these past few months, went on tour, and I want to tell you guys all about it, but I will save it for another video. Make sure you hit subscribe and like, and say hi to your mother for me. I'll see you guys next time.